Hi everyone, and welcome to your first assignment for this week. Um, as stated in your introduction, uh, you will be working with Prismacolor pencils today, and you're gonna be exploring some new facets that you may have not explored before when it comes to using colored pencils in your own artwork. Um, today I'm gonna be using, like I said, my 72 pack. Um, you're really only gonna need a few pencils, so if all you have is a 12 pack, that's more than fine. Um, you're not gonna be using something like 72 pencils. Um, today, what, I, what I'm asking you to do is to get out a few pencils. Um, what I would like you guys to go ahead and do is to go ahead and get out one lighter pencil, one darker pencil, and go ahead and also get out your white. Your white pencil is going to be extremely important in the process of burnishing. All right, and we're going to go ahead and talk about that more in a moment. Um, so I would go ahead and pick out colors that are somewhat slightly in the same color range. Um, so for instance, I might go ahead and pick this really deep, olive green as my dark and I might also go ahead and pick this lighter true green for my light. Um, that's going to go ahead and give me two colors that are in the same color range to explore. Um, if you'd like to go ahead and get a third color out that's a little bit on the darker side like I might possibly use uh, this dark purple almost magenta color you can do that as well but at most I just want you to be using three pencils um, as we begin to study and then additionally you'll be using your white. Now, just to go ahead and give you guys some sort of um, an idea of why we use white rather than a colorless pencil, which some of you guys may have been uh, um, already become familiar with using a colorless pen pencil, which is essentially a blending stick. Um, the white is actually a softer pencil, whereas the colorless pencil is very hard. So we're going to be using our white to mediate and to blend a few of our tones and colors and to give it a nice uh, surface area to work from. If you prefer using a colorless pencil instead of a white, that's more than fine. But for this exercise, I'd like you to use your white as you begin to burnish. Now burnishing, just to go ahead and give you guys a context. Burnishing is the use of your Prismacolor pencils um, to create a waxy surface. Now, for those of you that may have um, studied this concept before, um, burnishing allows you to create more layers. So think of it this way, if you have your pencil, on top of a sheet of paper and you're shading very, very lightly, all right, most of your pencil's um, grain is just gonna stay on top of the, the surface of the paper. Your paper actually has a tooth to it. Most paper does, all right? That kind of grainy substance is just gonna stay on the top if you're using just the dust of your pencil. The flip side of that and where burnishing comes in is when you actually engage and press down with pressure of your hand the colored pencil to fill in all that tooth of the actual paper. That allows you to get more saturation with your colors and it allows you continually build layers. So essentially it's like painting with pencils. Now yes, you're probably not gonna see the layers on there, but you will absolutely be able to notice a difference in how you're blending and how your colors are going to work together. Prismacolor is a very, very amazing medium when it uh, comes down to allowing the most of your color to shine through. A lot of colored pencils don't allow for you to do some of the things Prismacolor will. All right, so what I'd like to go, go ahead and do in this assignment is instead of shading spheres, we're shading planets. All right, so I want you to think, how can I make my sphere or my planet glow? All right, you're gonna be emphasizing certain things like blending colors, fading colors, and creating contrast, okay? Blending colors mean we shouldn't be seeing any sort of grainy surface, all right? You're gonna be really pressing down with saturation, okay? Now, uh, when it comes down to fading colors, I don't wanna see any stripes. So for instance, using my greens, I don't wanna see a dark green stripe and then a light green stripe and then a white in the planet. I want it to be seamless, all right? And then lastly, as, you, as you're dealing with contrast, it should feel like there's some weight and some three-dimensional quality to it. So that's why that third pencil may come in handy because you might come in at the very end and start to tint and add to your shadow. We're going to uh, talk more about specific things like color within color and a little bit more advanced techniques in the future. But for now, I want you to focus on your blending and your burnishing and using your white pencil to really help fade into your highlighted sections. Okay, please watch the time lapse. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and then check out your next assignment as well as you're going to be doing this in a little bit more of a detailed fashion. Good luck, guys. Email me if you need me.